Hey guys, so this morning we're gonna go pick up our disc bind and tractor. You got Casey, and then I'm waiting for my dad so he can bring the truck home. Yeah. He said they have it. I said, is it ready to go into the field? He said, yeah. He said they have it set like a half inch, like intermeshing a half, halfway. Yep. But he said you can, uh, you can change that if you want it to be crushed harder. Look how heavy they are. I'm gonna go ahead and drive home with this thing and I'll explain to you what we did with it. It's gonna be a bit of a drive. It should take 45 minutes to an hour. Try not to hit anything. So we got the disc bind home. So in the spring, we harvest spring forage crops and a lot of times we have trouble getting it to dry out. And our mower had crimping rollers in it, which weren't doing a great job. This year we rented that little crimper machine that we pulled behind the mower with a second tractor to go over and give it an extra crimp and it really helped it dry out. This is a crimper, so it's kind of doing the same thing that the disc mine does with those two rollers on it but this is going to be doing it even more and more aggressively it kind of shreds the stalk breaks it apart more and that should allow it to dry quicker they say it can take a day off of the drying we didn't really like that just because of the extra labor it took to run that extra machine over it so we actually got the same guys that built that crimper to put their rollers right in our disc bind. Got a brand new pair of rollers in here. So it'll get mowed and it'll go right up between them. And this will save us an extra pass through the field. So it was kind of a no brainer to do because it costs about 3000 to get these put in. And we just sold our old pair of rollers for $1,000. So it's only $2,000 out of pocket to do and it'll save us renting a machine and just that extra fuel and time. So we're here at the feed room right now and we got this little conveyor that we, we use to run feed out of our mixer into our feed cart. And we're actually not using it anymore. We don't need it here, it's kind of in the way. We're gonna unchain it and haul it out of here right now. So we used to milk cows in the barn in there. There's a, it was an old tie stall barn. So we had to load the feed carts out of the mixer. We had a pool type mixer like this, but we didn't have barns that you could run it out. That's why this conveyor was here for so long. The plan is to stack, we usually get four skids of the mineral at a time. So we can stack those all right here and it'll just be real handy. We don't have to worry about bringing a skid over at a time. It'll be right on this side of the conveyor. We can use them. So that was a good idea. 
To me, this looks so weird. I've been working in this feed room for the last 15 years and always had that conveyor. Now it's wide open. It's kind of weird. We have a little bit of maintenance to do in the milking parlor. So these milkers always have little things that we're replacing, fixing. My dad does a lot of the work with that, kind of keeping on top of this. So we have a swing parlor, so these milkers swing across, and when they do that, they turn on automatically. So there's a sensor up here that uh, goes from right here into this box that once it crosses over this part, uh, it'll automatically turn it on, that's how it works. This first one's actually not working, so we're gonna replace that sensor right now gonna have to take these four bolts out of this box and then we'll be able to get inside of there to replace the wire. This is sealed up good to keep the dirt and moisture out of the electronics here. Blue one to the first, black one to the fourth. So we got the new cord through the back of the box. Now we're gonna get the sensor set up where we want it. All right, so that looks pretty. When it goes past the magnet, it'll flip the switch in that little reed switch here. Okay, we're gonna test it out. Gotta start the system up. All right. So we're swinging across, it should drop down. There we go. So yeah, before it just wasn't dropping, so we were having to manually hit the milk button, which is right here, every time we wanted to use it. You just have three buttons, milk, detach and manual so it'll, it'll automatically detach from the cow once the milk slows down enough but if you hit the manual button then it'll just stay on until you stop it normally you don't have to hit the milk button but you can if the sensors aren't working or something snowflakes are huge We got this big log conveyor in our feed room that runs along the four silos and uh, we had put a new chain on it a couple years ago I guess. Over time they, as it starts to wear it stretches you got to take a link or two out so that it keeps working right. We're going to take a link out right now. So we're going to use this come along here and we'll make some slack so we can take a link out. Go ahead. These come alongs can be a pain. You almost need a degree to run them sometimes. There you go. So when it gets too long, as the conveyor comes down the hill, it'll kind of fall a little too much and it can start catching right here. And also it can start, you know, if it gets too much slack at the top there where it drives it, start slipping or catching things up there. So you want to make sure you keep it from getting too long. The only thing holding the muffler is this one metal piece right there. 
the actual muffler is completely disconnected. Take this nut off and then we can just pull the muffler off. I got this thing sitting so that it's flat. I'm gonna try to get a nice weld on here. Got to weld it back on there. There was a hole. I just stuck a bolt there and just welded around it to fill it in. It uh, at least it won't let any exhaust out there. Let's just throw it back in and see how it works. Okay, got it on there. Looks good. Dad's gonna start it up. Nice and quiet. Okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Just some random jobs. Looks like we might be getting a snowstorm this week. They were saying up to a foot. Hopefully we can have a video about a snowstorm, so we'll see what happens.